The Goldman perimeter is used as part of a neuro examination. Today we are mapping a patient's visual field to detect any defects or irregularities. Place a new recording sheet, making sure you lock it. Calibration is done first thing in the morning to ensure accuracy in testing. Make sure the light is 1000 ASP. Adjust the ball luminance to match the stimulus. Clean forehead and chin rest prior to each patient. Trial frames are used when patients um, need refractive correction. Explain to the patient the testing procedure and what is expected of them. The patient presses the buzzer when they see the stimulus. Patching is dependent on whether we are testing monocular or binocular. Make sure the patient is seated comfortably and in the right position. Secure patient's head to avoid movement during testing. Adjust the chin rest so that the eye is in focus. Testing the blind spot around the 15 degrees temporally. Now we are testing the visual field. Start at the periphery and following the line to the center until patient presses the buzzer. Repeat this for all quadrants at a random order to avoid patient predictability. During testing, make sure to monitor um, patient's fixation.
Static spot checks are used to detect any scotomas within the visual field. Sweeping is used to map irregular borders. Connect the dots to form an isopter. A different color is used to map an isopter of a different setting. Okay, Barry, now we're going to do a quick pupil test. I'm going to get you to focus on that distant target at the end of the room there for me, and I'm just going to shine light into your eyes. Now just keep focusing on that distant target there, we're going to turn the lights off, 